Hello friends, today we'll look into borax powder and its uses in gardening. Also we'll discuss on boric acid powder or boric powder we use for playing carom board game and also as wound antiseptic and how it is different from borax. Also at the end of the video we'll show you how to make an ant trap and get rid of ants using borax that's coming up. Welcome back. If you are a hobby gardener or interested in growing plants, consider subscribing to this channel. Also turn on the notification bell icon and you won't miss anything. Borax is a white powder made up of the element boron, a naturally occurring mineral salt with acidic properties. It has been used for many years as a natural cleaner, laundry booster and a disinfectant which can be easily purchased from any grocery store. Borax is the common name for the chemical compound sodium tetraborate decahydrate which contains sodium, boron, water and oxygen. Because this compound is produced as a natural residue from the repeated evaporation of seasonal lakes, it is suitable for organic gardening but with utmost care and precautions because its misuse can harm your plants. First of all, let's talk about the difference between the borax and the boric acid or the boric powder what we use as a carom board powder. In the most basic terms, the borax is a mineral that is mined from the ground and it is converted to boric acid with further processing that is usually to an exposure with an acid like hydrochloric or sulfuric acid and in fact both have the same value in gardening. Well, now let's look into the best uses of borax powder in gardening. The first in the list is to kill weeds. Add 1 teaspoon of borax powder to 1 liter of water and mix thoroughly and then use a sprayer to coat the unwanted weeds in your garden. Take precaution not to spray on any of your favorite plants. Then second use is as a fertilizer. The element boron is the second most widespread new micronutrient deficiency problem worldwide after zinc. It improves the plant health and growth. Its deficiency commonly results in empty pollen grains, poor pollen vitality and a reduced number of flowers per plant. The lack of boron also causes stunted root growth. This is similar to the zinc deficiency and also in humans zinc deficiency is related to infertility issues like low sperm count and sperm motility. The common symptoms to diagnose the problem of boron deficiency is dying growing tips, stunted growth, low productivity. You can dissolve at the rate of 1 teaspoon of borax in 1 liter of water and apply the solution evenly with a water sprinkling can. Then the third benefit is to remove rust from tools. Mix borax and lemon juice together to make a paste. Apply this paste to your rusty tools and allow it to set for about 30 minutes and then scrub it off. Repeat it again if necessary and then finally rinse and clean your tools with water. Another hack here is after use always insert your garden tools into a pail of sand to prevent rusting. Then the fourth benefit is to disinfect and clean your garden tools and surfaces. Mix a tablespoon of borax in 1 liter of water. Make use of this solution to soak your uh, garden tools and even pots. Once clean, rinse thoroughly with water and leave the items in sunshine to dry. You can also clean your garden gloves with this. Then the fifth and very important use is as an ant killer. If you want to get rid of ants in your garden, try this borax bait hack and in fact it is a recipe. For this you need uh, uh, your borax powder, a honey or a sugar syrup. Depending on the quantity of ants you want to kill, you can make a small recipe or a large recipe accordingly. For a small colony of ants, take half teaspoon of borax and mix well in sugar syrup. You can use one or two teaspoon of sugar and then dissolve in one teaspoon of water and make it a, a sugar syrup. Mix everything well and place this in a bottle with holes in the lid or any container or, or cup like this with some small holes for the ants to enter into the trap but not larger enough for honeybees to enter inside or you can also do one thing you can uh, directly pour on the affected spot if you are not concerned of honeybees which are the natural pollinating insects of your garden. I have laid down this trap in one corner and waiting for the ants to get trapped but I have no luck yet. 
let's wait for a few more days and we'll update you if the ants are trapped with a small video on uh, my in instagram page so there we have it folks that was our episode on something new in garden that is borax and its uses in garden if you like the video please like share and comment on the video if you are new to the channel consider subscribing to the channel happy gardening